I'm Kirk Masson from Masson Labs, and I wanted to talk today about starting to shoot film. A lot of people are afraid to shoot film because they think it's too expensive or that they're going to fail. And a lot of people in the industry are invested in making film seem complicated so that you'll buy their lessons or workshops. Film is simple. Really, it's all about shooting your first roll. That is what's going to get you hooked, and that's what we're going to do today. So the first thing you're going to need is a film camera, and you can either get one from a friend or family member who'd probably be happy for you to use one, or you can get one at a thrift store. So now that we've got our camera from the thrift store, it doesn't really matter which one you get. There were a bunch of silver cameras made in the 60s and 70s. They're all the same, and they're easy to find. But now that we've got one, we've got to load the film. So for your first roll of film, I recommend that you try Portra 400. It's a professional level film, but what's great about it is it's very, very forgiving in terms of exposure. To load your film, you're gonna pop open the back like this. You're gonna insert the film into the left side. And then you're gonna pop this down until it engages with the film. This is what's gonna let you rewind later. Then you just feed the film into this little slot right here. Make sure it catches really, really well. Once you've got it in the slot, you're gonna turn this little dial right here to help feed it through. Then just close up the back of your camera and advance the lever a few times. You notice that this turned when I did that. That means that the film is, is holding onto the spool and that's good. So you just keep winding the film until you get to one. So now that we're onto the first frame, we're ready to shoot. The most important thing to remember when shooting film is to always err on the side of overexposure. So the entire day today, we're gonna to be shooting on only one setting. F4 at 1 25th of a second. This setting is a really good all around general purpose setting for this speed of film to get great results in almost any kind of light. And today I'm gonna to be shooting in all different kinds of light to show you that you can get really good results with just these settings. So in some situations, this is gonna be way overexposed, but in most situations, it's gonna be around the right exposure. Film, unlike digital, does not suffer when it's overexposed. Film only really looks bad if it's underexposed, and these settings will always push your film towards overexposure and will get you successful photos. To recap our first lesson on shooting film, be sure to set your camera to f4 at 1 1 25th of a second and use Portra 400 film. It has the most latitude. Lastly, be sure to send your film off to a professional film lab to have it processed and scanned. A professional film lab is as important as every other part of shooting film, so don't skimp when it comes to processing and scanning. So go out there, shoot your first roll, you'll be stoked and you'll be ready to learn more about film. Good luck.